That rain too. Thanks, Jeremy. Downtown Topeka is gearing up for its busy season while the Riverfront Authority continues moving forward with some development planning. Ashley Gilfillan heads up both of those areas for Greater Topeka Partnership and she is here today. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. And it's almost like St. Patrick's Day. This past weekend was kind of the line in the sand between taking a little bit of a break in downtown and let's go for it. That's it was right. so busy for Irish Fest. It was. And one of the things that I like to tell people is that with that big event, that's three different groups coming together to put something on like that. So you have Celtic Fox, the Irish Fest out of uh, Modern Day, and then you also have the Irish Club of Topeka that is the parade. So it's really a community effort. Three events in one, and it brought thousands of people down there. But this is just the beginning, because what happens from here? This is kind of kicking off everything that happens downtown. Yeah, so right now, Evergy Plaza is getting ready to roll out their events in April. You'll start seeing Live at Lunch come back on Wednesdays. Uh -huh. Uh, you'll have Friday flicks coming back every second Friday of the month with the first movie being Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. And then you have great events like the Read and Roll from the United Way and Parents as Teachers, as well as Top City Half Marathon going on in April too. So it's really kind of that right out of the gate, St. Patrick's Day sets us up. And we should say Top City Half Marathon also has a 5K option, <laughs> so which is more my speed these days. Yeah. And all summer concert series, will we, see, we be seeing anything like that coming back to downtown again this year? You will. You'll see the second Saturdays going on to Celtic Fox, I'm sure. They're gearing up for some stuff. And and you also will see the Eats and Beats festivals going on, uh, as well as one-off events at Evergy Plaza. So it's really gearing up. And they even have some events coming this year that are definitely different than what they've done in the past. And so it'll be a unique uh, you can experience. give us a hint? Uh, it will be a sanctioned boxing match. In Evergy Plaza. In Evergy Plaza. Very fun. Free for the public to attend. Of course, TPAC also is fun because it adds to the life downtown. And I love the announcement that came out today. I just want to say I called this. I'd been wondering <laughs> when this was going to happen because surely the band Kansas cannot do a 50th anniversary tour without coming home. That's exactly And they're coming right. home. They are. They're coming home October 4th, I believe is the date. And tickets go on sale this Friday. This Friday. So be there to TPAC. A lot of people have been talking about the riverfront. And that's a process that continues to move forward. What is the status right now? And and as people always ask the question, you've been talking about it, Ashley, when are we going to see something start to happen? Exactly. So with the Riverfront, we did well, the first round of engagement. And what we learned is that our community sees it as an asset that is not utilized. Uh, what that gives us, though, is uh, room to grow with recreational activities, pedestrian access, as well as some economic development. That's with this next round of engagement. We're going to start pushing out through April. We're going to be doing engagements April through almost October in person, online, meeting people where they're at uh, in English and Spanish to ensure that we're getting the whole community's buy-in to see what we really want to see down there. Is there a timeline yet or how close are we to being able to actually set a timeline? Because as I recall, gosh, more than a decade ago, part of the holdup was, well, we know they're going to rebuild the Pope Quincy Viaduct, we just don't know when. And so until we know what that project's going to look like, what the timeline for that project is going to be, you kind of were on hold with the riverfront because that's going to impact it. A little bit, and for a while they were doing those things behind the scenes, making our river safe with the new weir, adding signage. So now we're kind of doing the fun stuff. What do we get to see that will connect downtown to Noto with the Polk Quincy and uh, the river development? So it gives us a few years to be messy. I think we're on track for Momentum 2027 to deliver a 21st riverfront. Sometimes things get messy before they get beautiful. Exactly. <laughs> yes, that will definitely well, we'll happen. We'll keep watching for the timeline on when all of that will start to unfold. Meantime, if people want to let you know what they want to see, how can they continue to get engaged with this next phase? MyTopekaRiverfront.com right now. There's not a survey out right now because we're gearing up to put the second one out that will kind of hone in on the details. But there is an interactive map where you can leave notes uh, where you can put, this is where I think a restaurant should go. This is where we should have trails. And if somebody's already put it there, you can give it a thumbs up or thumbs down. So it's very interactive and we want as many people as possible possible to take it. I think a trail along the levee would be. I love trails. So right. Yeah. Thank you. Ashley, appreciate it. A thank lot you. going on. Thanks for the update. Women do have some unique concerns when it comes to mental health. We'll take a closer look next.